After my father passed, I went on a three-year journey to improve my skills in trading the financial markets because I knew I could do better than what was offered. And it was in 2018, I ended up reading the book, Becoming Your Own Banker from R. Nelson Nash. I also started to learn and discover that how intertwined we were when it came to, uh, I was when it came to what I was doing with my finances and why it was so difficult to get ahead. I'm sure all of you are aware that uh, in Canada, we have to pay income taxes. Well, the, the income taxes is part of the, an activity the government does, which is collecting that revenue or collecting uh, and distributing some form of credits and you know, it's a, it's a heaping mess, but it's, you know, it's all of those rules are defined in the Income Tax Act. And what I wanna share with all of you today is that is a system that has been designed for the government in terms of collecting revenues, having you report what you earn and what you have to pay. So that's a income tax system. The next part I wanna share with you is we're, I wanna set with you in terms of before diving into all of those examples and case studies, I uh, want to set that foundation. And the foundation I want to share with all of you is talking about this system called the banking system. And before we do that, because ultimately when we know what that problem is that we're trying to solve and we know what the system is, then we really can look into the system and see how we can position things into our own control and where we want to take and achieve our own goals and objectives. So in terms of that foundation, I want to introduce you to someone. I want to ask you, before we know about this, I want to kind of let you know about this individual. Who was R. Nelson Nash? Before I kind of go into who Nelson Nash is, if I were to ask you, who was the one who revolutionized the automobile industry with regards to the Model T? It's Henry Ford. Now, if I can ask all of you, who created the amusement parks and pioneered cartoon films, including Mickey Mouse? So Walt Disney. Now, this is a real good question. Who revolutionized a process to enable you to become your own banker? It is very much R. Nelson Nash. Now, R. Nelson Nash uh, has pioneered this concept on becoming your own banker. And we at Ascendant Financial, I would just like to share with all of you, we, I, you know, we are extremely grateful for him pioneering this concept and we really want to pay tribute to respecting uh, the things and the impact uh, to all of our lives that he has got uh, and what he's discovered and what we are very fortunate to be able to do with all of our clients that we serve. And when, it, when one of the things that he said is, what a peaceful, stress-free way of life it is when you get the banks out of your life. And again, you know, one of the things I'm just sharing with all of you, just kind of setting the stage for you to know, is that we are all a part of a banking system. And what and that banking system is not designed for you. So when we kind of look at it from the standpoint, what would it look like if you have your own banking system? And what uh, and you'll know that what I want you to know is you'll know that you are capable of becoming your own banker. And before we kind of knowing go through that, I also want to share with you, it all comes with getting that clarity. When you know what that problem is, then you can go looking for the solutions. And it's about what you can do. And you'll feel this. Uh, I found hope and a new belief in a way that I can create my own peace, peaceful, stress-free financial, financial life. And what is the opposite of being stress-free? You might look something like this. <laughs> now, traditionally, you've been told to put your money into these products or accounts, and it looks something like this, like mutual funds, commodities, and stocks. Now, when you put your money in those places, realistically, you're putting your money in prison, and then it goes to someone else's bank, when, and when you need to access that, to access more money, you're basically asking for more loans. And for a lot of us here at Ascend Financial, we believe that's absurd. And what I wanna tell you is that if you have been handing control of your money 
over to someone else, you may not be in the best situation right now. Might feel like this. So the first thing I wanna ask all of you, are you committed to discovering becoming your own banker? Are you willing to commit to improve anything that you're now doing financially that is preventing you from prevent, uh, becoming your own banker? And I just wanted to share with you my personal story on how I discovered the path to a peace, peaceful, stress-free financial life. And uh, it went through also the hard way. So I'd like to share with you a little bit about my story. So my mom fled to Canada during the Vietnam War and my father fled to Canada from China to escape the governmental regime. My parents worked extremely hard earning a living for $3 an hour, and I can't count how many times they've sacrificed and struggled to make ends uh, meet and ensure I had a better upbringing. One of the things that I did create a lot of tension in my family was the subject of money. And because of the disputes that would create, my family wouldn't talk about money. Now, along the career as uh, my life growing up, uh, going through education, I decided to choose uh, my career to become a CPACA. And because I knew I wanted to be in control of the money. I started my career working for one of the big four accounting firms where I gained a tremendous amount of experience working the, with a wide variety of Canadian public and private businesses. I worked closely with business owners and a very defining moment for me was when I was working with them during the financial recession of 2008 and 2009. I saw businesses collapse and employees let go. I also got to see businesses recover and flourish. I eventually specialized in the real estate industry, more specifically on multi-residential apartments, real estate developments, hotels, and tax planning. What I was able to see and experience was very wealthy Canadians knew how to keep taxes away from their wealth and also build uh, and structure and design their real estate deals. And during that time, they had a very uh, peculiar tool in their arsenal that I never saw before or learned about in my training as a CPACA, and it was something I didn't understand at the time. So along that time, uh, I got tired of working for clients uh, of that nature and really uh, the environment of the firm. I decided I needed a change in my career, and I ended up working for one of Canada's largest telecom companies as a controller. I eventually got tired of it and I decided to become an entrepreneur, building and exiting several businesses. I became a very avid reader at this time, reading almost one book a week. On the surface, everything seemed amazing, but it wasn't. I was exhausted and to make matters worse, my world turned upside down in 2015. Both of my parents were diagnosed with cancer and my parents meant the world to me. I neglected the things that I built so that I could be there to support my parents every step of the way. I am, ended up pouring much of what I had into getting them the treatment they needed. And when it came to their life, money was not something that was going to come in the way of that. I ended up depleting a lot of the sources of my wealth to help them uh, get through their treatments. Now for my mom, she's alive, cancer-free and enjoying her life right now, today. Unfortunately, my dad didn't get the same outcome. Some of the most difficult things I had to experience was as my dad's time was getting near was during that transition of his assets. When I met with his financial advisor at one of the big banks, when I learned how much money my dad contributed to his RSPs and how much money the banks made from his money while well, he made absolutely nothing. I was absolutely crushed. I could not believe the years of hard work that my dad would sacrifice and the crap that he would take to provide for our family. For all that he saved, the banks basically stole his money. It was this moment I knew I wanted nothing to do with banks when it came to investing. After my father passed, I went on a three-year journey to improve my skills in trading the financial markets because I knew I could do better than what was offered. I learned directly to trade the financial markets from floor traders who could see how the flow of money worked. I also learned and saw people lose and ruin their life savings gambling the financial markets. And the difference was because experienced traders knew how to not let their emotions get in the way when putting money in the financial markets. It was the equivalent of someone who wanted to learn how to box stepping into the ring against Mike Tyson. As I was building up my trading success, there was, one, uh, there was only two major problems I was, 
I was dealing with. I was paying through the nose in taxes as I was building up sizable portfolios. And I also hated drawing from my account because that meant I had less money to take trading positions on. And it was in 2018, I ended up reading the book, Becoming Your Own Banker from R. Nelson Nash. I also started to learn and discover that how intertwined we were when it came to, uh, I was when it came to what I was doing with my finances and why it was so difficult to get ahead. And this is what most people believe. They need someone else to take care of their money. And most people also believe that it's necessary to risk their money in order to grow it. Most people know next to nothing about the process of banking and its importance to their lives and their well being. So I wanted to share with you a couple of truths. The first truth is the difference between you getting stressed or staying relaxed is who controls the banking function in your life. The second truth is you don't have to put your money in prison for decades and rely on someone else to achieve the financial abundance you deserve today. You don't have to be rich to become your own banker. So I wanna ask you, who is this for? And I just wanna let you know that it's for you. And all of you here that have, are joining us today have made a real good decision to get educated to learn about this process.